Hello, hello. I hope you all are well. So today I just kind of wanted to show off my raspberry plant and all of its beautiful glory. These are wild raspberries. They're super prickly, but and they're small. But the ones I tasted last year were good. And then I have some wild strawberries growing here. This is what I love about living up north. This stuff, you just find it all over the place. You find it in sidewalks. And then also, there's something really cool here in the ground. And I'm going to see if I can get it to move. But, no, get out of there! Get out! Get out! Oh my goodness. Thank you for getting out of my strawberries, buddy. Let's see. This is the fun that we have with nature. I probably ought to leave it alone since now my cat wants to sleep right here. So I don't think I'll bother the spider. But it was a pretty big spider. It was lifting up this whole bit of dirt right here. And I was going to bother it and make it do it again. But we won't do that. Can you guys see it? There's a little white sack in there. To the edge, that's its egg sack, so. But yeah, I'm super stoked about these little guys. Look at these, how precious. I have two of them, they're almost ready. I'm trying to uh, catch one of the runners in this hanging basket here. And they are just going everywhere and I'm so stoked about it because I don't really care for store strawberries at all, but I have noticed that if you let a strawberry get ripe on the vine, oh my goodness, it is just something entirely different than store strawberries. Well, actually, I will eat store strawberries after they're cut up and sugared, but that's it. So, I am just tickled to find them all in my grass, and I've been picking grass out trying to make room for them, and I just could not be more excited. So, I just wanted to share some of the joys of my very tiny uh, gardening, homesteading in a trailer park. So, yeah, I got some some nice wood there that I'm thinking about putting my compost right there along the wall and pulling it up off the ground because it is super soaking wet over here. It stays soaking wet over here. It's like 12 inches down here and like 24 inches at the other side. So, and you can just see it gets like this murky, gross water. So there's not really much else I can do with this. I'm thinking to throw those pressure-treated boards in there and let them be a base for a good compost pile so what else we got going on here um i repotted some of the wild raspberries and they're it's not doing too bad there's another one down here these pots i just salvaged from the trash so i've yet to clean them out but uh, that one's not doing bad, neither is this one, so happy about that. My onions, I need to get some kind of self-watering thing going on here so that they don't lack that because that's one thing that I've heard is very important is that they stay watered. So my cabbages seem to like it over here because it gets quite a bit of shade from the tree. So um, what else? I've got this wild rose. So I put this tomato cage here and I staked up, like, it was real tiny, it was only like this big off the ground, but it had two long runners coming out, about a foot either way. And I lifted them up and put them in this cage and then all of a sudden they got these big, huge, huge stems off of either side. So I'm really hoping this, this blooms and this is a rose, but it looks like it, it's got all these thorns on it. So hopefully this blooms and helps pollinate. Um, Got some pollinators in there now. Thanks be to Jesus. Um, so I've got a couple of tomato plants here. I've got three of them. And I don't have a cage in the middle. I only had three cages and I'd already used that one and I'm not digging that out of there. Um, but I'll tie it up with like some string or something between these two. Um, I've got some sweet pepper. Are these sweet peppers or bells? And I think something is, they're, 
they're going really light green. I think they need something. These are California Wonders, so yeah, they're bell peppers. And then here I have um, the uh, Cubanelles, Cubanelles, however they're called. I've got some uh, zucchini, and I put them on the outside intending to, I may still put them outside of the fence. I had to put the fence up though because the cats were starting to try and use it for a litter box and can't have that. So um, I've got a blueberry bush here that's been here about three years. I've got to be doing something wrong because it doesn't really grow well. I think the grass is too close. Um, I've tried to like pull it out and keep it out of there and give it its space, but I still think it needs a little bit more room. So, but it does, it produces something. It gives me a little bit of blueberries, and blueberries aren't exactly my favorite. I probably got it on clearance at Walmart. Um, I've got another one that I just put in pots over across the yard. We'll get there in a minute. So then, so excited about this. Another strawberry plant that is looking amazing. I'm going to up pot this to probably a hanging planter because I just love that they have runners that they send down and... It looks cool decoratively as well as, uh, you know, it produces food. So this is a cool little stand that I actually just scored from the neighbor throwing in the trash. It just looks neat and provides a little something for the weed whacker to hit other than the, the pot inside. These are more um, up-potted raspberry plants. These things are super, super thorny, but um, I think in coming days where we might see more crime and such, uh, having thorny things around isn't the worst idea. So over here we've got some marigolds in each corner. Um, I can't really see very well through the Okay, here we go. Got some marigolds in each corner. Um, here are melons. They're um, cantaloupes. And then these right here are some more California wonders. Um, I've got another set of cantaloupes there. I had them planted out front right here and over there, but they died. They weren't in very good shape. Oh, look, this one came back. Maybe I shouldn't have pulled them out. I pulled the other ones out kind of prematurely. But, so. but yeah, I'm gonna plant those on the edges so that they can kind of come out into the the yard a bit. Um, I'll probably have to put something here in front to, to actually kill this off a little bit and put some mulch or something so they have a place to go. Um, this was like a bed frame or something that I found in the trash. So I'll put the, I'll run those melons up that if the cats don't destroy my things. Um, super excited about this guy right here. This is my muscadine grape. And it was pretty much looking dead whenever I got it from Tractor Supply. But I wanted it because it's got, uh... It's black fruit, and I absolutely love black grapes. They're my favorite. So um, I picked this up for like $15, I think. Uh, put some weed barrier in here, and this is more for the cats not digging in it than it is for keeping weeds. But it also does keep it moist under there, so that's helpful as well. Um, so yeah, it's trying to send out tendrils. I really need to get something else for it to crawl on over here. I'm not quite done building out these beds yet. Um, down here is a, a jewel raspberry that wasn't doing so hot. The other one, there was another little one there that has died back. So um, I put this over it. it. I can't decide if it looks better or worse. I think the wind and the rain was just tearing it up because it was so small and this has a hole drilled in it so I can breathe a little bit and uh, yeah, I probably ought to prop it up a little better there but yeah we'll see how that comes out. Uh, let's see. This over here is a blueberry. I thought it was a package of two blueberries but it turned out it was a blueberry and a raspberry in a pack for like six dollars I got from Walmart. Um, this isn't really doing anything, but, you know, again, we'll see. I don't know what was in packing material, and I've just potted it, like, two days ago, so, yeah. Um, now I put some onions in because I decided they just had to be in dirt of some sort. I have not yet up-potted these. I had a bunch more that I did up-pot in the, or I planted out into that other garden. Um, these right here are 
they're all yellow onions and this bed is just a mess. I started out to put cardboard on it. I didn't have enough cardboard. The grass was really growing through and I haven't really kept up with it because um, when, whenever it rained really good one time, it absolutely, it flooded so bad. It just filled the entire thing with water, which tells me that the entire thing needs filled with soil before I can plant anything in it. So um, I've kind of put this on the back burner because I need to not just amend it, but fill it. So, which is going to cost a few dollars. Um, I've got some, kind of some compost in the works, but it's not really set up ideal to work fast. Um, this keeps catching water, so I put some rocks around it. So the cats have something to drink out of, because they keep drinking out of this, and I thought it'd be nicer if I, you know, put the rocks around there and kind of just made it what it is, a little water thing, so... I gotta clean that muck out of there though. I couldn't get that part yesterday because it was still full. Um, let's see, what else do we have? I'm putting a bed in along here. Um, this I stepped in the other day again after it rained. Another one that's just gonna have to be filled. So I'm trying to do like some compost in place, filling it with um, some uh, dry grass. So I've got a wonderful amount of worms. So, nothing lacking there, but I do need, like, medium. So, uh, that's been my challenge lately. I went yesterday and tore down a, um, a big, like, a, like a raised bed or a box. Or something. Just, she had built out of, my neighbor had built out of her old porch. And I got all this free wood. Most of this was, I picked up yesterday. There was a couple of pieces that I already had that were just right over there against the shed. But this is amazing. Um, I got all this rock too, and I've been trying to get a job with the with the park um, weed whacking. But the property manager told me I have to be cleaned up first. So I'm trying to like straighten some things up and see if I get a piece of lattice up right here to make that look nicer. Um, I'm undecided on whether to do my compost right here or over around on the other side of the house there. Um, I don't really want to be much closer than that to the fuel tank right there. But um, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. And I guess that'll do it for my garden tour today since I don't really have anything else in. Oh, um, the project that I'm going to be working on today, though, will be fun. I am. I really need to work on getting the hardware out of the wood that I got yesterday. But in addition to that, I've got these. Where are they? I've got these two by twelves right here that I'm going to. They're like five foot three inches long or something. And I'm going to build a box. They come out to like here. And so I'm going to put a nice big box um, bed right here. And then I'm going to put a cattle panel, a 16 foot cattle panel from here, or actually a hog panel because they're they're not as tall. But um, the the height would actually be the width in this case so they're only like 24 inches wide and um you can just you know do that on like a an angle and you know put one side in this and one side in the next one and that way you can trellis over beans or melons or whatever you should choose so um i was kind of marking out another bed over there potentially um I'm not sure yet, because right now I really just don't have the means to fill them. I'm shopping for a vehicle, so. Um, all right. Well, if you guys have any thoughts or, um, you know, helpful advice, anything like that, please let me know. I could use all of it, I'm sure. And I hope you all are blessed and really thinking about how to grow your own food and um, self-sustainability, because right now that's so vitally important. Um, we really just can't be entirely dependent anyway on outside resources it, it's just not prudent right now it really isn't so i hope you all are blessed i hope you all are thinking about gardening or learning how to at very least cook from scratch um doing something to get yourself ready for you know kind of the drama that they're calling for right now which is food shortages and blackouts this summer so i hope you all are well and thinking about being prepared and I will talk to you next time. Bye.